So, since I know one of you is going to say, what the hell is that? It is, well, you make browned butter first. And it's a process. It takes, oh, maybe 10 minutes in the pan. You just heat it and keep stirring it. It'll eventually turn brown. The milk solids in the butter will go to the bottom of the pan and stick to the pan little sticky bits, you know, like them good little pieces you scrape off the roast pan bottom, except it's out of butter this time. Anyway, and the water content of the butter evaporates while it's cooking. And so, I'll show you what happens. It's starting to get a little darker. It'll as all of this happens, the butter itself will get darker. I've already made one batch, and I put in my little ice cube molds, these little things here. And I have them in the freezer right now. This one is going to be a little different, because with this one, when I'm finished, I will just put it in the refrigerator to, to cool and start to harden and once it starts to firm up and harden then I will get my portable mixer out and I will whip it into whipped brown butter and then I will put it into the molds and put it in the freezer. Supposedly gives it just a different texture and a different little bit of a different taste but I got to tell you, that first batch that I made, oh my goodness. People say that it tastes like caramel, and it does. They, it is so freaking good. And I used the salted butter, so it tastes like salted caramel treats. I can't wait to see what this whipped butter one tastes like. Anyway, I'll update you later. Bye. Okay, all these bubbles is uh, the moisture coming out of the butter is what um, the other people said that I watched making this. So it shouldn't be long now and it should really start turning dark. The first batch I made didn't take quite this long. This is the... Irish butter from Aldi's. Salted Irish butter from Aldi's. The first batch that I made, I can't remember. I think it was just regular butter from the store. Salted. Because I had canned some butter in pint jars a few months ago. And so I used one of those for the first batch. So it didn't take as long. I did use a higher heat on that one though, but I wanted to go on a lower heat for this one, it's just so I didn't burn it. But um, this is really foaming up now, so I think we're gonna, we'll be back in a, a minute when it starts to get really dark. Okay, this is really foaming up, it's starting to get dark as you can see in the swirls. Um, I'll be back with you in a minute. I don't want to burn it, and I'm holding this camera. Okay. I cannot see through this foam. So, oh, it's getting very dark. There, I got a glimpse of it. I'm taking it off, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so here it is. I've got it in my Pyrex bowl. And I'm going to put it in the fridge and let it chill for a bit and start to firm up. And then I will whip it and see what that's like. Oh, yeah. And I started out with a pound of butter. Okay. So while I was waiting for my second batch of brown butter to firm up enough to whip, I decided to have my breakfast slash, slash lunch. So what you see here is a 10-ounce grass-fed ribeye. 
and I thought I would take one of my butter bites I made from the first batch and I sliced it up into little pieces and I put it on top of my steak. And oh my goodness, the bite I took, it is like heaven on your tongue. Oh, the added flavor that this gives just a little punch of goodness. Oh my gosh, it is so good. You should try this. Okay, I'm going to attempt to whip this butter up now, so we'll see how I do with with one hand, okay? Ooh. You ready? Here we go. we go. Now I'm going to spoon it into my molds and put it in the freezer. And then we'll see if there's any difference in the taste between the whipped brown butter and the regular brown butter. All right. Be back soon. Okay. I just pulled these whipped butter bites out of the freezer. They're all finished. And you can see the little specks in there, the, the dark pieces that was from the solids that we mixed up and that came to the bottom of the pan. Anyway, that's what they look like. They taste divine. I'm not sure which one I like better, the first one or the second one. Anyway, this little ice cube tray, I, I have a full one in the freezer and this one. So I had this many in here. So at 15 plus 8 is, what, 2, 4, 6, 8, 15 and 8, 23, and each one is 2 tablespoons. So there's a total of 46 tablespoons out of 1 pound of butter. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, watching. It was fun playing the little guessing game for all my friends on Facebook. And now I'm going to taste this thing. And it's going to be... So, here we go. And please forgive the way I look. I was outside doing yard work. We're going to taste this little baby. Mmm. 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 Like my husband Jerry used to say. That's so darn good and make your tongue beat your brains out. Okay, see y'all later. Bye.